Hey guys, I'm Amadeo78 from Broken Continuity, and this is One Shot, where I go over a single character or concept in comics. Today, I'm talking about Marvel Cosmic. Until recently, the Marvel comic universe has always been a vast place. Someone like Thanos, who now is pretty much just a big evil bad guy, was always kind of concerned with his own philosophy and his place in the hierarchy of the Marvel comic universe. While many have opposed him, his direct opposite and his opposite in philosophy would probably be Adam Warlock, who hasn't been seen for some time. The Celestials, however, seem to be regularly occurring stars in the Marvel Universe directly on Earth these days. In a lot of ways, they become the cardboard stand-ins for greater power in the universe. I personally wouldn't mind seeing a stranger swing through and do something every once in a while. Probably the last great attempt to define the Marvel cosmology was in Ultimates and Ultimates 2 by Al Ewing. I really enjoyed a lot about that series, but unfortunately, it's over now. In the lead up to Secret Wars, a lot of different Marvel cosmic entities were basically taken out. As it stands, the Watcher is still gone. Now, we do have the Unseen, but we don't really have any information about them. Is this a punishment for Nick Fury, or does it serve a greater purpose? Now, just to be clear, when I say cosmic, I don't just mean space. The X-Men have had to deal with the Shi'ar, and they've also had to deal with the Phoenix Force. However, they're not necessarily on a Marvel cosmic level. The Phoenix Force is strong and is part of that hierarchy, but that's the X-Men's outlet. The Asgardian realm over the years has nudged up against and directly interacted with Marvel Cosmic as it is a part of that hierarchy. However, that's not really as high up as I'm talking about. Also, when you talk about Asgard, Thor loves Earth, so that's normally where you're going to end up. Naturally, I have to talk about the Guardians of the Galaxy, but a lot of time they tend to be more about space, about those different races and cultures that exist in the Marvel Universe. And I have to mention, there's actually fewer of those races now. I mean, do scrolls even exist anymore? If you take a character like Apocalypse, for instance, you really need that Marvel Universe connection. I mean, that's why he's so strong, is because of his dealings with Celestial. And that's why he's able to make such strong minions, because he has technology that belongs to the Celestials. Sadly, without the Fantastic Four, we're kind of cut off from a lot of this. Because while they may be considered a superhero group, in a lot of ways, the Fantastic Four were mostly explorers. A lot of facets of the Marvel Cosmic Universe that were introduced to Earth were introduced through them. After the Beyonders and Secret War, it seems like we're at a point where the Marvel Cosmic Hierarchy won't step in when things get to a certain size. Like things will always fall back on the heroes and I don't necessarily like that. A character like Nova really benefited from that middle ground. His participation in Annihilation made him a popular character because no one really cared about the new warriors before that. While I enjoy getting in touch with the Silver Surfer's humanity, I also want to know more about that great big expanse that he's surfing around in. Anyway, I'm Amadeo78 from Broken Continuity. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.